and welcome to some... Now, I wanted to come on today and kind of pick up where we left off talking about Ecuador. I read a news story today, and I did not plan on making a video today, but I thought I, I just got to talk about this. I'm going to continue on with Ecuador. Uh, kind of same topic, but different story. Ecuador has uh, apparently levied a verdict against Chevron for uh, contaminating their waterways, making their people sick with oil drilling going on from the 60s to the late 90s. The, the verdict was actually for $18 billion. And the funniest part about this is the original verdict was $9 billion and a public apology with the contingency that if they refuse to apologize publicly, the verdict would double. Well, Chevron being the big douchebags of the day that they are, refused to apologize publicly. So the Ecuadorian government has doubled their fine to $18 billion. Thought to be one of, if not the largest environmental verdicts uh, in history. Now this all started between 1960 and 1992 when Texaco was drilling uh, down for oil down there in Ecuador and uh, I guess apparently they kind of helped Ecuador out uh, becoming an uh, oil country but apparently the cleanup process which they did spend 40 million dollars on wasn't good enough. And really the reason why Chevron comes into play here is back in 2001 Chevron and Texaco merged. Therefore, according to the Ecuadorian government, uh, took on the legal responsibility to, to pay any fines levied on the contamination of the Amazon rainfall. Now some of the things this judgment was about was, for example, a school teacher in Ecuadorian Amazon claims that he has lost eight family members due to cancer and blames the uh, half-assed, if you will, uh, environmental cleanup policies and everything for these oil companies back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And they do say that they knowingly dumped uh, oil polluted water and stuff into tributaries of streams and rivers and stuff leading into the Amazon basin. Now, of course, Chevron says that this is all they're accusing the Ecuador government of fraud and just all sorts of weird crap, but they're trying to get out of it. And apparently Chevron pulled all of their assets and operations out of Ecuador some time ago. And they did say that you know it's going to be a hard judgment to actually collect on because Chevron doesn't currently have any assets down there however Chevron is currently also answering questions and facing billions of dollars in fines because of an oil spill off the coast of Brazil which again is very similar to the whole BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico the Brazilian government is saying that Chevron lied about the actual magnitude of the spill off their coast we knew that was coming of course the government down in Ecuador says that Chevron is attempting to abuse the international court system to get out of paying the fines that are rightfully owed to their country for damages sustained after Texaco's oil operations down there. But I'll tell you what, if we've seen in history, we've seen that a lot of these big major oil companies just really don't care about the harm that they cause as long as they're making the dollar. Which brings us to our question of the day. What do you think about this whole thing? Do you think Chevron should have to pay this 18 billion dollars? Or do you think that Texaco's problems were Texaco's problems and not Chevron's after they merged in 2001? Leave a text comment or a video response, and that has been all your news for this Wednesday. If you'd like to read any more about this story, that link's right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other, and we'll see you next time.